Brandon Gaughton and Charles Davis on hand. And this is a game where the defenses, they need to be on their toes because you've got quarterbacks here, yes, that can throw the football, but they can also run it very well, too. Mobile quarterbacks. Remember for the longest time, they used to tell the quarterbacks, stay in the pocket. We don't want you outside of it at all. Nowadays, that mobility, truly an asset, and people are game planning for it. As a scout told me recently, we are actually working with what the colleges are giving us nowadays. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. carry for the legend it's Bo Jackson it's a loss of four on that first play and it's second down nice play right there to stop him behind the line but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half yeah we know you know better than I he has the ability to take over a game so what do you do yeah I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage if he breaks through it's nothing but room to run Throwing on second and 14. Newton, he's going to dump it off to Gurley. No gain there, and it's going to bring up a third down. Usually the offense has an answer to anything a defense throws at them, including a safety valve. And that's what they did on that play. They went there, but the defense still made an excellent play and held them to no gain. Great, great, great. Mike Mike Third and long, it's Newton. He gets it to Gurley, complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there and also a first down. I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive. He may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going in the passing game, that should open up his running game, too. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. You used to have a coach used to tell us all the time, those scouting reports aren't just to use up paper, guys. Well, nowadays, you know, we're watching a computer screen, right? They scouted this team very well. Know that they like to use the running backs in the passing game. They covered that play successfully. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there and also a first down. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 47. Newton now to throw. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. And that's a loss of seven on the first down play. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Patrick Willis came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Throwing is Newton. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Now a whistle, and I think a penalty here for a delay. No, they're going to say timeout. They did get the timeout in time. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Ready. 
It's in a three. One of the true legends of pro football, it's Jim Brown. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Back to throw, Newton. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Here's Newton. Flushed out right. He may try and run for this. And yeah, that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. Now a fair catch is called for and taken a few yards across midfield. Officially, that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be third down. On third down, this is Jackson. And they go backwards here. Losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Here's Ty Long now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of the game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Steps away to his left. That's complete to Calvin Johnson. A gain of 32 that time. Not really any offense for them to speak of here in this first half. Maybe that's what they needed, that big play. Yeah, and it seems that maybe everything changes right there. They've been a little slow out of the gate. We've seen that. But that one big play, that could spark a big burst right here. On first down, Newton. Got an open man. It's Devin Hester. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage.
Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. The former Purdue Boilermaker, Raheem Mostert, looking for a seam but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. From the gun on third down, Newton. Eluding the pressure right. This is Johnson. He's got it. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 23. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He's able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. Yeah. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And just like that, it's third down. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. And they get to Newton and take him down for the sack. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And that hits the right upright and caroms away. It's no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. Well, that hollow metal sound is the bane of any kicker's existence. And here, that sound is going to keep our game scoreless. And you could see him give that body English as the ball was in the air. Come on, baby. Come on. But no dice that time. A lot of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll begin the drive with Jackson on the ground. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Earlier this half, you were wondering how the defense was going to handle him defensively. Were they going to bottle him up at different levels, so to speak, is what you said. What have you seen so far? Well, I think they've been absolutely terrific because it feels like on every play, if you were watching this in the film room, when they clicked off the film or stopped it, you would see 11 shirts of that same color right there in the frame trying to tackle it. That's what you're looking for. Throwing on third and long. Newton on the crossing route complete that's Holt and he'll be stopped right at midfield Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there and also a first down they run on first down with Jackson and he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line it's a loss of a yard there and it's second down Right now, I'm just wondering where they turn on offense, Charles. I know we're not in the fourth quarter, but second quarter haven't scored and struggling to move the ball. I don't think they abandoned the run game totally, but maybe you change up your tempos. Maybe you go a little bit faster, try and catch them back on their heels a little bit to try and accomplish what you want to get done. A couple of plays sent them the wrong way, and now they face a third and 14. Now Newton. They set up the screen to bow. Room to run inside to 40. And finally, taken down at the 15. Four seconds left, and there's the timeout. In field goal range and a chance to tack on three before intermission. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. Badgley's kick is good. And the Steelers will jump out to a three-zip lead. 
So we will not go into the lockers tied. We do have a leader in the clubhouse, so to speak. Yeah, it's only three points. Doesn't seem like much, but it looms big the way that they got it done right before the half ended. After the made field goal, Badgley back out there for the kickoff. Fairly short kick, taking it to 14 here. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. These offenses seemingly still back at the hotel for the first half. 3-0 our score as the second half gets underway. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. On first down, it's new. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Malcolm Jenkins. Devin Hester, the intended receiver. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Now this pass to Vance McDonald complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. The Steelers picking up 15 yards there at a first down. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Newton on first down. He's got daylight. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. Pass the 20. And they will score. It's a 49er touchdown. touchdown. Jan Stenerud on for the extra point. So he missed his lone field goal try, but he's got this one as that extends their lead. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. We got this. The Steelers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Call that a loss of seven to bring up four. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. A good return there, 17 yards, and the Niners will go on offense 
First and ten. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. We got three. We got three. Fellas. Cam fakes the give and keeps it. Flush to his right. And now he's going to use his legs. Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the gun, here's Newton. Escaping the pressure right. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they left little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Out of the gun, Newton. Flushed out right. And the catch made by Johnson. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Play action. It's Newton. Being chased out left. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. First down, a bit of a disaster. And now on second and goal, back even further. Shotgun handoff to Brown here. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Newton now to throw. Dancing to his left. And that one not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's 49er football here. They've got the lead as well as we get set to start the fourth and final quarter. Stenerud's kick is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. to but from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. This is taken at his four. Oh, he shifts past him. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing again. Newton. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. 
Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. And that'll make it third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Good contain. No gain on the screen, and it'll bring up fourth down. They dialed up the blitz on third down, and your worry is a defense that they can hit you with a big play in that situation. Instead, the blitz pays off, able to rally to the football and make the play. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They snap it to Newton. Throwing right, and that's complete. A fourth down, no problem. 19 yards that time, but now it's first and 10. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I looked down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. 20. Eight, eight. On first and ten, Newton got his man complete over the middle. It's Holt, and he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. From the 50, Newton. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide-open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. To throw again on second down. Newton, and this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. Again, Newton. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. The former Pro Bowl linebacker Anthony Barr there to jar it free. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. On fourth down, Newton. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Keith Bullock. The 20, 10, and they will score. It's a 49er touchdown. GG.